Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.177, okay? It says, the car travels around the circular track such that its transverse component is theta equal to 0 0.006 t squared in radius, where t is in seconds. Determine the car's radial and transverse components of velocity and acceleration at the instant t equals to 4 seconds, okay? So over here in the figure, they're showing us the car that is going in this circular track and they are also telling us that our um, radial component is equal to 400 cosine of theta and this is equal in meters, okay? So in order to start uh, to find our radial and our transverse components of velocity, which I'm going to show right now, so I have a little note for this chapter since this Velocity has two components and the acceleration also has two components, which are the radial and the transverse Radial and transverse. Okay, so since They are a little bit more not complicated but long by meaning like it has two components So I created this small like cheat sheet for saying like that that we're going to utilize later But well as we can see we're gonna need the derivatives of the, our radio and our transverse it could be the first or the second derivative of each one of them, okay? So we're going to start by doing that. We're going to take what is given to us, which is that our transfer component, theta, is equal to 0 0.006 t squared, okay? So if we want to find these accelerations and velocities when t is equal to 40 seconds, what we can do is that we can just plug in when time is equal to 4, and we have that this is equal to 0 0.006 multiplied by 4 squared, okay? And if we plug this into our calculator in here, we will realize that this is equal to 0 0.096 radians, okay? Now, if we convert this radians into degrees, this is equal to 5.5 degrees, okay? Then later, what we can do is that we can take the derivative of our initial equation in order to find the derivative of theta, and this will be equal to 0 0.0212 t, okay? And we can also find what will be its value when time is equal to 4, okay? And if we do that, we will realize that this is equal to 0, 0.0212. 4, 8 radians per second, okay? Then, in addition, we will do an extra derivative in order to have the second derivative of our transfer component. We will have that. We will need to do the derivative of this guy. And so the derivative will just be 0 0.012, okay? Not these anymore. Meaning that this answer will be true for all the time and it's in radi radians per second squared, okay? So now that we have our theta component, we can start going for our radial component since our radial is in terms of our transverse component, okay? So first we got that our radial component is equal to 400 cosine of theta. And if we put when t is equal to 4, we know that our theta is equal to 5.5 degrees. So we'll have 400. Let's keep it uh, a little bit more organized. And I'm just going to say that this is when time is equal to 4. Okay, we're going to have 400 cosine of, and then we know from here that our theta in in that time is equal to 5.5 degrees okay if we plug this into our calculator what do we get cos 400 cosine of 5.5 this will give me a total of 398 meters okay if we round it up then later we can do is that we're going to take the derivative of our radial component so if we do we will have 400 and then we'll have the derivative of cosine of theta. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative 
sine. So we'll have negative sine of theta. And we need to do chain rule, which is, so we need to do the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of our inside cosine function is just theta. So we'll have times the derivative of theta, okay? Now we can do, we're going to plug when time is equal to four seconds. And what do we have? Well, we'll have negative 400. Then we'll have sine of theta. Well, theta, as is stating here, 5.5 degrees. We knew it. 5.5 degrees. Multiply by our first derivative of theta, which is this guy over here. Okay? And we're going to use radians for this. So let's not confuse ourselves. We cannot multiply by degrees. We have to multiply by radians, okay? So it has to be 0 0.048. And if we plug this into our calculator, so we got negative 400 sine of 5.5 degrees times 0 0.048. And the total will be negative 1.84. And this should be in radians per second, okay? I'm sorry. This is uh this should be in meters per second because we're talking about about our radio one. All right, and then we can do the second derivative of our radio component, meaning that we have to do the derivative of this equation here. So I'm going to have negative four hundred. I'm gonna leave it outside. I'm gonna open a big parenthesis. Now, over here, what we have is a multiplication. And both terms have our variable, meaning that we'll have to do product row. So we're going to do the derivative of the first one. Well, the derivative of the first one, so of sine, that will give me cosine of theta times theta, uh, the derivative of theta, because we did the derivative of d sine, right? And then we have to do chain rule meaning that we have to do the derivative of the inside. So that will give me that this theta in here. But we also need to multiply by this first derivative of theta. Therefore, we'll have this first derivative of theta squared, okay? Then later we'll have a plus, and we're going to take the derivative of our second term, leaving the first term the way it is. So we will have sine of theta multiplied by, if we have the derivative of the first derivative, it's the second derivative, meaning that we'll have theta double dot in here, okay? Now, what we need to do is that we're going to plug all our values, so we have r double dot when our time is equal to 4 seconds. What is this equal to? So we have negative 400 multiply by cosine of theta, which is 5.5 degrees, as we did before in here. Then we will have to multiply this number by the first derivative square of theta, which is this in here, when we plug in the value, meaning 0 0.048 squared plus sine of theta, which is 5.5 degrees, multiplied by the second derivative of theta, which is just 0 0.012. So we got 0 0.012, okay? We close the big parentheses, and our final answer, not our final answer, our final answer just for our second derivative of our radio component, so if we plug negative 400, the cosine, that will give me a total of negative 1.377, and this should be in meters per second squared, okay? Now, we've done all this calculation so far, and we already forgot what we were doing, at, right? So just to remind ourselves, we were doing all these calculations in order to be able to find our velocity and our acceleration components, okay? So I'm going to leave these equations. So I'm going to start first with our velocity equations, which are these two guys in here. So these ones over here. All right. So 
let's just start our velocity in our radial component so this is an r has to be equal to our first derivative of r well we calculated that one already which is negative 1.84 so we got one negative 1.84 meters per second and this is our first answer then the velocity in our transverse component is going to be r okay so let's come in here and see that r is equal to 398 so we got r which is 398 multiply by the first derivative of theta so if we go back the first derivative of theta was equal to 0 0.048 so we got 0 0.048 okay and if we multiply this two we will realize that this is equal to 19.1 and the units are going to be meters per second as well okay so now we're done with our velocity components. Now we have to do our acceleration components. So I'm going to come in here and our acceleration components are this one. Our radial component for our acceleration is the second derivative of r, which is negative 1.377. And then we have to do minus r, which we know is 398, multiply by the squared of the first derivative of theta, which is 0 0.048, 0 0.048, we're going to square, okay? And if we plug this into our calculator, this will give me a total of negative 2.29 meters per second square, okay? And last, we're going to have our acceleration, but in our transfer component, it's going to be equal to this guy over here, which is R, again, so we got 398, multiplied by the second derivative of theta, which we got to be 0 0.012 in here, so we got 0 0.0. 12 and then we have plus 2 times the first derivative of r which is negative 1.84 as we can see on top of the page multiplied by the first derivative of theta which is 0 0.048 okay and if we plug this into our calculator so now we can close these in here we need this we're going to plug this into our calculator and our final answer should be equal to 4.60 even rounded up meter per second square okay so at the end our four final answers are boxed in here for our velocity and acceleration components our radial and transverse components okay if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next Thank you.